Welcome to Ravens Over. Please subscribe to my channel and also at the top you see an Instagram button. If you follow me, I will follow you back. Now, if you do, if you have a story you recover, email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. Did you subscribe yet? Okay, let's go to the video. Let's go. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting in front of you. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It's the day of another day. Of another day that we call Tuesday. And it would have been said, what's going to be? We hope everybody's doing everything as far as being safe in this world and knocking down doors and making your dreams come true. Okay. I need this breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel better. Okay. Here we go. Now, I told you first time read well, I haven't shared this part with you. I've been talking to a guy for a while now. Not really like talking to him, you know what I mean? But it's like we met like years well, we never met in person, but we talk we met on BGC basically. We were talking, have a conversation back and forth. I think it's a very nice looking guy. I think he's dropped there gorgeous. He's every woman's dream, but the simple fact of the matter is that I went on his page and I found that he liked to follow the girls and stuff like that. And, and that's fine because at the end of the day, he is a single man. He could do whatever he wants, you know, when it comes down to his life. You know, a little bit. But um, the thing about it with me is I gave him my phone number. We've been having a little conversation stuff. Um, back and forth, we never met. Now it's been like almost probably five or six years. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly, but it's been a lot of years we never met. So his whole conversation has been, you know, how come I haven't met you? I haven't met you. I'm in your area. I haven't met you. I haven't met you. The reason why I haven't met him before, now I remind you, the man is dropped dead gorgeous. He's actually on his YouTube page, so you probably see this notification, and I don't give a fuck. This is the thing. We had the conversation, stuff like that. I went live, which I mean, had to have known. I had to wait for him to give me a call and stuff. And he told me he was going to come out this way as far as Jersey. And I thought it was kind of weird that you're coming out to Jersey. Now, we don't have a conversation every day. We talk once in a while or once in the blue moon, which means that one month we may talk, the whole next month we don't, the next month we don't. So it's not like we talk every day, which we do not. And sometimes we speak different. Of, anyway. So, I'm still there for him. He's a little upset because I refused to meet him and stuff like that. And the reason why I haven't met him, because I told you before, I have trust issues. I have trust issues because of my past, and a lot of men has fucked me over. And at the end of the day, I don't feel as though when I'm not ready, you know, to move forward with a man, I'm not going to just invite him over because at the end of the day, I think he's coming around me. I think he's coming to steal from me. I feel like if he ain't walked through that door with any bearing gifts, He's coming to take shit from me. Santa Claus work in reverse. That's what he is. The whoopee to me. Santa Claus work in reverse. I didn't bring his shit. He comes to take shit. But anyway. So, I was starting to get in a little bit. You know me. I'm like a punk sometimes. You know, I'm definitely one of the dumb dumbs. And sometimes you start selling me that juice as far as I'm different. I'm different. You know, you start believing. Them. You know what? Just maybe. But, you know, it's like a maybe. Not like a hundred percent maybe. What else say like a... 3% maybe, but the rest of it's like, you know, I don't know. So anyway, the conversation went forward and stuff like that, and we had the conversation, he called me up today, he wanted to find out, you know, why is it such a problem with me and you trying to meet up, what is the big deal? Do you have a boyfriend, you got a man, you know, just be honest with me. Now, I don't know if you know men like this, but I'm going to share this part with you as well with him. He's the kind of guy that'll keep talking, and when you say, well, listen, wait, he'll be gone. And ever you try to add your part, you know, explain to him, he'll just keep over talking. And then when you try to say, well, listen, he talks louder. You say, but he thinks even louder. So I'm like, I'm noticing this. Now I'm thinking, are you not noticing that I'm trying to have a conversation with you? And you're basically over talking. And listen, at the end of the day, if you want to be the kind of person want to be right, guess what you're going to be with me? You're right. But remember one thing, while you're being right, I'm not fucking with you. So... He over me like he always do and starts screaming out. Sometimes he hang up on me, sometimes he don't, you know, when he don't get his way. I know he get a lot of girls because 
he's pop. He's super duper fine. Like he's dropped that gorgeous. He's like something, you know. I will fuck with. But I know within my past experiences. I don't trust me when it comes to men because I found that the men are fine as hell. It's like the fucking worst. And reality is that when you land in bed with him, you're sharing that dick. That dick is not just your dick. That's everybody's dick. And he, that dick may belong to some customers, some clients, even some men, some everyday about it. You don't know. Now, I'm not saying that's the case for him, but at the end of the day, I do not know. I'm not trying to find out. But anyway. So... He got up there, called me up and everything. He was like, I can't understand what's wrong with you. Why do we always have this problem? And over talk man normally. So I was like, well, let me, no, let me just let me finish. You need to let me talk when I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. We always see you talk. You never hear my side. You're freaking out like me, like you always do. Fine. This is the thing. I was giving in to him a lot. Like he was, he was We're almost busy. eating. We're busy. <laughs> He was almost, he was, <laughs> he was almost here, he was almost here, but he said something to me that fucked everything up. He, if he would have made it, but he said something a little too familiar to the last motherfucker, that's the reason why I'm on YouTube right now, because the motherfucker fucked me over, and he said exactly what the fuck he said, and it's like the universe saying, See, guess who rolls up? The same, different body, but the same circumstance. Now, let me tell you what he said. He said he wanted to come to Newark and stuff like that. Now, he came to Jersey, he wanted me to tell him how to get here and stuff like that. I know you're going to hear this video that the day it is, what it is. So, he's like, I need you to stay by. I said, I'm going live. He said, well, I need you to answer my phone, even though you're going live. You have to pick up this phone. I said, well, I'm going to be like a raven. I need you to pick up the phone. You know, I need you. Okay, fine. I'm not going to leave you out here. I understand what it's like to go somewhere you don't know you're where you're going. So I'm going to be there for you, you know, when you need me. So the thing about it was, he called me and stuff, and I, you know, I, I, I text back and forth with him and have the conversation. Whenever y'all saw me looking down, I'm texting to him. Me as a person protecting people's privacy and stuff like that, I could basically get speaker. Y'all can hear it all, but out of respect for him, I don't do that. So, I'm, you know, so I'm texting back and forth and stuff like that. So then, we finished the live and stuff like that. So today, he called me up. He was talking back to me about him and when he was me. Okay, fine. This is the tip now. So, he says to me, over talking to me once again. I said, well, you know, I, I, I said, why are you saying this? I said, I just text you to see if you can watch to your location. Okay. Well, I don't understand why I've been trying to meet you for years and you still give me this thing. You know, you got a man. If you don't got a man, just be honest with me. So, I don't have to. He over talks. Okay. I said, well, listen, I try to be there as a friend to you, because when you needed me, when I was close, I go live. He said, oh, no, I've never needed you. I've never needed you. Don't get it fucked up. I've never needed you. That's what the guy said came out of prison for 15 motherfucking years. When I helped get that motherfucker on his feet, he said, oh, I never needed you. I've never needed you. Oh. So after I put you the suits and the clothes and the shoes and put your ass on your feet, you never needed me. But when that old dirty ass fucking penny wasn't shining, and you found a bitch to get out there, put that fucking money in your pocket, paying for metro cars, making sure you can eat, while your boys come back and tell me, thank you for buying them lunch with the money that I was sacrificing, making sure you have a place to fucking, somewhere to eat and shit. So when he said that to me, it was like a, a, like a wake up thing to me. I was like, okay. So you ain't asked me to do shit, huh? So you, so everything I did was just like a fucking, oh, okay. So you didn't need me. I said, well, you know what, motherfucker, let me tell you. Before I knew it, I didn't call him a motherfucker. I said, listen, motherfucker, you don't never got to fucking call me up again. Don't call me no fucking shit like this. Because I don't give a fuck. You're not going to come over here and fuck me over. I've already been fucked over by your brothers. You're not going to come through this motherfucking door the same goddamn way the rest of these motherfuckers. I've been in school, I've been educated about you motherfuckers, you're not coming to me. He's like, you okay, bro? I'm going to talk to you later. I said, all right, ma, bye. This is the thing. Everybody can't get a fucking turn and fucking me over. I mean, I get it. Y'all want to fuck motherfuckers over. It's fun. It's like you're a deli blogging life. You just want to destroy motherfuckers out the clear blue sky. But at the end of the day, you motherfuckers don't want to be destroyed. You don't want nobody to come up to your fucking ass. But don't fucking come for me. Go to a bitch who's looking for love and believe in love and believe in all that wonderful flowers and shit. I'm not there yet. And I don't know if I ever get in because I'm doing a video today. And I'm supposed to. <laughs> 
I'm not supposed to be doing a video about success. I was talking about love yesterday, but it's blown about my face. And I think the universe let me know that you got the same man, boo. You fucking with the same man. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with him. It was like rant and rave and stuff, but it just got me so upset because I, I believe that he sit up there and said, I never believed you, boo. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah, but bitch, you needed me. You want to stay alive and all the extra shit, but now you home. You got the way you wanted to go. Now I'm going to see you and leave. Okay, I hear you. Like, I really fucking hear you. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Somebody ever turn on you after you try to be there for them and act like you ain't do shit. That's pull out the house someone and then all of a sudden when you help them get up on their feet or basically look out for them when they need you and it's not always a financial thing, but they needed you there for them and you're there and it was like, oh, I didn't need you. I didn't need you to do that for me. You ain't have to do that for me. And that's the thing that gets me a lot of times when people get so fucking ungrateful because at the end of the day, you heard it, you have to take out time of your day to try to be there for them and you got a thousand things you could be doing, but yet and still you stand there being occupied with their bullshit and at the end of the day, they sit back and have some fucking attitude like, like, um, well, you didn't have to do it, you have to do it, what if I didn't have to do it, motherfucker, why the fuck you call me? It's like a billion other bitches you could have called at the end of the day. I, that's the one thing I do not like, and I love for that other motherfucker. This is my thing. If you don't have gratitude for people, if you're not the kind of person who sits back and says, well, you know, thank you for helping me out, thank you for not leaving me stranded and certain because I knew where I was at, then motherfuckers don't call it. If somebody would have, if I would have called somebody and said, well, um, they said, well, you needed me, but I said, yeah, I did need you for that day, because I was really lost, but I'm the kind of person that's defensive. Who the fuck want that in their house? That means if I was seeing you, you'd be the kind of person that's like, why the fuck you be looking at me? Why the fuck you leave? Why you watch this channel? Why you always do this? Why, you know, my thing is this. If you're the kind of person that leaves with passion and love, I see it. If you're the kind of person who comes with torn moral, I see it. If you're the kind of person that like to pick fights, oh, I see it. I'm not going to invite you into my motherfucking world, bitch. Do this like to be me. We go through enough shit just to be who I, we are. At the end of the day, all you see is a piece of fucking meat to fucking so a goddamn pocketbook to go through. When we go get you some fucking water, and at the end of the goddamn day, you walk out the fucking door and tell us you have a phone call. In reality, when you're walking out the door, you got a camera, a cell phone, a whole bunch of other shit. You be the first motherfucker saying, I would never do that to you, but in the goddamn day, everything you said you wouldn't do, that's just what the fuck you did when you got through the door. Anyway, that bit inside. And I've been saying these sales and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I am a jaded bit of bitch. I'm working on myself. I'm a work in progress. I'm not there yet. I want to get there, and I have to scream men like an interview. I don't just, once upon a time, you show me a little interest, bitch, you was in my house in five fucking minutes left. Now I learned to get my ass kicked by my, um, the other men I thought was, that told me the dream that they, I want to be with you, I love you, know, I want to, girl, I, 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 I don't, I don't buy the dream no more. And I learned that the, the guys that I thought was cute and gorgeous, they're like the ones who sit behind the mask of fine. That come to fuck me over. Here it is. I'm looking after you ugly motherfuckers. And here it is. The cute ones doing fucked up shit too. The universe is fierce. But I thank you universe for letting me hear him. Finally say something to me that triggers something. He never made it to my house. But I always listen. When a man talks, listen. When a man talks, listen. Listen to everything he say he's not going to do. Because nobody else is the fuck he going to do. Anyway. This is my opinion. I would love to be back in this. Have anybody. Have you ever helped someone and then they said, because you have to help me. Some people say, well, Raven, if you just want people to say thank you, um, when they help you, that means they, um, it wasn't genuine. For that question, fuck you. You take your comment and you stick it up your fucking ass and you swallow it. Because at the end of the fucking day, don't nobody got no time to be sitting down, babysitting grown ass motherfucking people that's come to fuck them up. So you say we looking for a, a, a reward or thank you? Fuck you. Bitch, I want a fucking reward. I want a fucking thank you. Because at the end of the fucking day, I'm not walking away with your fucking money. I'm not walking away with your fucking gifts. I'm walking away without money. Oh, well, you stupid. You shouldn't be up and then fuck you again, bitch. Because somebody helped you. I'm just saying. I know you're like, but bitch, who you talk to? Because I know I motherfucking think. And I be thinking of him because I'm the motherfuckers. I always be trying to say something, make shit be your fault. Those stupid motherfuckers. Anyway, let me say it. Look at this before I just cut my channel. Just <laughs> cut my channel. And also, Instagram, you follow me. I follow back. Have you ever helped someone in this? Because you ain't have to help me. Then motherfuckers, 
please let me know if this happened to you, because I know I'm not the only one. When the belly of the beast and a lot of people out here doing some fucked up shit. Doing some fucked up shit to people. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you on this Tuesday. And I'll be back in this. I know you're on this channel. I know you probably heard everything I said. You're probably going to call my house, whatever the case may be. You don't worry. I'm, I'm already... I'm ready to deal with anything you got to say. I don't even give a fuck. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and also, if you have a thing you can cover, you want me to cover, email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. And I want to your feedback on this. Have you, ever, have you ever helped someone that's like, I don't need you to help me after you don't help them? Well, bitch, you should have said that from the door. Anyway, be safe out here and remind you, watch everybody who decided they want to be your friend. Because everybody sitting in front of your face is not your friend. And most people want to get to you and maybe because they want to get at something that you have. Anyway, I just want you to love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain. Oh, right now. Come on, baby. Let's go on Instagram. Oh, like I said before, if you have a story you may cover, you can email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. I will make it confidential. No one will know it comes from you. And at the top, there is an Instagram button. If you follow me, I will follow you back. Oh, come on, man. Scroll to my channel. Come on. <laughs>